Hey guys, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create consistent little characters for children book. For example, I created this little gothic girl. We will aim to maintain a consistent look and feel, no matter the setting, whether she's at the zoo, at the park, or at the cinema. Join me as I guide you through the process of creating a character for a children's storybook. The goal of this tutorial is to help you overcome the challenges of creating consistent AI characters, which can be difficult to achieve. I will share my own findings and techniques that, I, that have worked for me. Although it may not be perfect, it will serve my purpose of selling books on Amazon. Let me take a moment to introduce you to my Chrome extension promptly. It will save you a considerable amount of time especially if you use prompts frequently like I do. I've included a link in the description for easy access. So let's get started with character design. Find the mid journey category, scroll to the last one, character creation, select it and click copy to clipboard. So let's see what this prompt is about. So let's say you want a little girl character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to create a little hooligan character. Very important, multiple poses and expression. This is going to generate different images of the same character. And we're going to start with, with these. So it's for a children book illustration style. I want it to be simple, cute for five year old. I'm going to remove girl full color. I can keep the red shoes. I'm going to remove the red hood dress. I'm going to say it's baggy clothes long, no short brown hair, flat color, no outline and to have a better quality. Because it's for a book, I'm just going to add up beta at the end. And let's try with this. So here we can see mid journey has already started generating me an image. We have the multiple poses and expression here, which is generating like six different images of the same character which is great because we're going to cut them, separate them into six, and then we're going to train our AI model with these images. So let's go see them. I like the first one. I like the second one, third and last. I think I prefer the last one. So, cause there's different styles here, right, left, center. So I'm going to use this and it's only five images. I have one less. So let's upscale number four. All right, this is perfect. So let's open the big one here. It's this big because I added upscale beta to it. So let's copy this image. Now we're going to open Photoshop and create a new document by clicking file new document inside of the menu. Since the image is already in my clipboard, Photoshop will already have populated the right dimensions. So we just need to click create. And then I'm going to paste my image control, uh, command V on Mac control V on windows. You can use whatever other software you have for editing. The goal here is to separate and make five different files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lasso tool here, polygon lasso, and I'm going to make a really fast and rough selection of the first one here. Once I have it command C or control C under windows, command N or let's, or file new again and create and paste. I don't even know where paste is command V. So paste. So this is my first one. So I'm going to save. <laughs> I don't even know. 
I don't even know where save for web is. Okay, here it is. It's legacy. That's why command shift. <laughs> so let's use this save for web option. So this is the first one. Now I can close this one. I will save it. I'm going to do the same here for my second character. And you can do all these steps for five of them or six how many images you will have. So once we have our five separate images, we're going to come back here and we're going to click the little plus sign and open our five images. And click enter to send them. So now Midjourney has created these images and uploaded it to its CDN. So we're going to come and copy each of the URLs. We're going to save them here. But we're going to take each one of the URLs one by one and feed them back to Midjourney so we can create similar images. Okay, so I have my five images. So I'm just going to select them. And I'm going to go back with my prompt. I'm going to paste my five images. And I'm going to come select what I had here before and just slightly modify this information. So let's remove little hooligan. Keep at the park. And for the rest, it's good. So I'm going to send this. Okay, duplicate images detected. One or more images. Our filter is currently... So what I'm going to do, I think maybe there's two images that look too much alike. So I'm just going to remove, again, a little Ligon character. And I'm going to delete the last image because I think the last one and the other one before, they pretty much look alike. So let's try this. See if this works. This is looking good, especially the second image. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Except I don't see a skate, but let's say he might not be a skate part, but. So let's retry the same last prompt that I used. So slash image, uh, imagine, and let's change at the pool and I'll start a new one also at so as you can see this is the closest I got to getting consistent characters I know it's not perfect, but really, this is going to suit the needs that I have. I can use this in my children's book, no problem. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment below if you have any questions or if you have ideas for new tutorials or you want me to teach you something in particular, don't hesitate. Just comment this video, share it with your friends, and see you in the next one.